Okay, I'm back. And, uh, well, after the last one, which we had so many questions that we want, well, I wanted answers to, but we never got, did we? But I hope a lot of them can be answered, even though some of them were, but not everything that, yeah. And anyway, as, as I said, didn't, uh, Elena ask for three things off Melchior? Well, one, if she could come back in, two, for that uh, data stick, and number three, to, I don't know, ask if a, if a courier could come in and out. Or if she can look, or if he can look the other way as she tells, talks to someone outside of the game, about the game, or summit in a way. <sighs> or did she only ask the two? But, okay, if she asked for free, we don't mm. know the last two requests that she was told to do for him. But if it was only two, there's still that one more. Because obviously the first one was make sure that <clears throat> Team Arkwright Solutions make it through to the finals. Oh, that that's what that's what that was. But but then again, making that through kind of covered the fact that Indeed. she got the date stick from that, or maybe she's already accomplished it by doing something else. Eh, either way. Enough of that. Hmm. Enough of me rambling well. of stuff that I have no clue on. So let's just go over here. Let's go down here. Let's go into the palace. And then let's go kick Dante's ass. <sighs> it's been a long time coming. Yeah, and as as I've said, this is in the end game. It's probably one more chapter afterwards. And then we're going to get the Onyx Steel. And then we're going to be able to make our best weapon possible. Just hopefully we can get enough. Right? Alright, let's go. Even though we've still got about 25 minutes there. Yeah, on yours, you gotta get back, and plus you got some explaining to do. Why was Fairy away from you when she was supposed to be there watching you? Yeah, you're not the only one. No way. He's an outsider. How's he allowed in? I'm confused.
And that can't be what she was doing. Contacting the prince of Sabat. Farbad. Whatever that place is. You've really gone and done it this time, you filthy spriggan trash! Uh... Why are you blaming Van? I'm pretty sure that was Anya. Anya's. And... He had no part in it. But then again, that's still putting everyone at risk. Of the bomb exploding. Why would she do this? Risk everyone's safety just to bring in the ship which would probably get everyone out safely. Is that it? Isn't that the airship we saw in Tharbad? That belongs to the princely family of Elsheim. I think it might be carrying all of the city's children on board. Oh, good. That means the orphanage kids are safe. I'm so glad everything went according to plan. So that was your plan. How in the hell did you pull us off? How in the hell did you get them out? How in the hell did you bring him here? And how in the hell has the bomb that exploded? Explain, Missy! But wait, d does that mean... That was what you were up to? That's right. Officially, it's a sightseeing flight to foster relations with the Central East and to commemorate the ending of the film festival. We spread awareness of it through the Orbal Network and with word of mouth and said that all children of the city were invited. Hmm. Just the children? Hmm. We put the connections Dingo left behind to good use. Yeah, but you still put everyone in the city at risk. Last night, we reached out to the Crown Prince and asked if we could use the Principality transport vessel. I fully expected him to inquire about why we needed it, but no. He just rushed on over in that airship without a second thought. He is quite the character. I wouldn't be surprised if he was taking inspiration from a certain musician I know. <laughs> uh... would that be? <laughs> They're gonna fly around the city for the next couple of hours. Then they'll return to Rasion. That's one less thing we have to worry about as we head into the final battle. I'm genuinely speechless. Ah, an impressive feat to be sure. Uh, no, it's quite risky. Indeed. Even if the worst case scenario should happen, the children will be out of harm's reach. This was a brilliant scheme. You should be proud of yourself, Agnes. Not at all. Admittedly, this was just a self-satisfied gesture that might well have no meaning at all. But I just happened to remember what Dingo once said to Van. <laughs> Think about what you can do and what you want to do. You'll find a clue on how to move forward in the gap between the two. So... Yeah, there is still no gap that I can see. There's, there's no way to... <clears throat> make a loophole to bring someone in. Which... Oh, then again... <clears throat> No, because they said if anyone enters or leaves, it explodes. The prince has entered. Very well. Make the most of your connections while you're away. The CID is at your beck and call. 
There are many truths that lie dormant in the gap between ideals and reality. You would do well to seek them out. I also recalled the words of my dad, and it just spurred me to action, I suppose. <laughs> After I thought of the idea, I spoke to Marielle and Ren, and we all decided to go ahead with it. A giant plot hole! By the way, I heard about what happened with Elaine through the guild. I'm so sorry I couldn't be there at such an important time. Why the hell are you saying sorry? You just earned us a huge win. You even factored in the Crown Prince's debt to us and turned him into a chess piece for your master plan. <laughs> uh... You've gotten pretty damn sneaky. We better watch out, or we're all gonna be your puppets before long. Oh, is, th is that a bit of foreshadowing? I don't think that will be happening anytime soon. Hey, if what you said at the very beginning it's a bad idea to bring all the genesis together, something bad's gonna happen, and you're collecting all of them together, and you're gonna do something bad with them. No one kinda sees that. Right? <laughs> it's almost like you're utterly incapable of offering a genuine compliment. Well, she's learning from Van's experience. As like people say, he's a bad influence. I'm gonna have to start pulling my weight more. Yeah, you better. Sounds like our allies are on their way. Let's go, guys. It's time to finish this. No, not yet. And plus, this is only the sixth Genesis that we're getting. Her dad probably has the other two. Which we are going to be getting in the second game. So this whole scenario is not going to be over until then. Or maybe we're going to get seven. In the next one, and then eight is going to be in the final game. Right? Right. Because I've seen with uh, chapter completions, there's only two more spots left. This one for chapter five, and then one more for the final chapter. There's only two spots left. Uh, so, like, basically says we're only going to get two more Genesis. And there's still one left. The eighth one. Even though I'm pretty sure at the beginning they said seven. And then they changed it to eight somewhere. I'm pretty sure they did. Let's do this! May Adios be with you all! Do whatever must be done to ensure that Agnes' precautions will be for naught. Well. She put us all in danger. But... Oh, then again... Would that ten... As, as like I was saying, technically a loophole. But... Okay, he's coming in, but technically he's not coming in. But then again, he would have to have come in to get... To pick up the kids anyway. It kind of makes no sense. No one can come in or out, otherwise it's going to explode. He came in, or they went out to get on the ship. To have that little tour of the place. So... <laughs> the only thing I can probably think of is... Well, no. Elena couldn't have a hand in this, and she didn't go over to Melchior and say, Can someone come in, but not to help us, just for the kids? But then again, with what he said over there, did not sound like he knew anything of it. <sighs> why, why did...
Why? I'm, I'm confused. Key card confirmed. Team Arkride Solutions can now enter the final zone. Alright, in we go! But then again, the connections that her dad said to Anya had to play a part. So in it. this is the interior of Ashtar Palace. But as I said, it makes one giant plot hole. Uh. It must have been a sight to behold before the monarch was overthrown a century ago. Almost time for our final battle. Well, no, not final battle. We've got one more after this. Indeed. Though I am unsure of what to expect from the remaining Almada members. Uh, they're gonna be out for blood. I'll tell you what we can expect. They'll come at us, and we'll beat their asses to a bloody pulp. And we'll stop them from detonating the bomb. Even though, as I've been saying, Onyus was a good, cha good chance of setting it off. I'm going to keep going on about that until it's actually said how she did it. Just teleporting in. Doesn't work. Bringing someone in. Does not work. And he has not been overhead this whole time. Just to, for preparation of this. No, because this plan was concocted during this whole incident. This whole game. So, no, someone needs to explain that. <laughs> Said I'm going to keep going on about it until it has. Or if the bomb was disabled. Because after the three games are done, that main bomb is not going to go off because though... So if those three bombs are dis disabled, the, la the last one next to the well Dante is also disabled. Unless that, unless that is the case, which <sighs> I don't know. Sounds like a plan. Let's get this party started. Time to put the pedal to the metal and go after him. Full speed ahead. But then again, Onyus wouldn't know because it, she wasn't even told. No one was. Ah, uh, all right, fine. Let's heal. Ooh, that hits the spot. And let's. Poor Onyus, she's got nothing. All right. In you come. And in you come. There we go. Alright, so now it's time to fight. Let's get to work. Go on! Get him! Show him what you're feeling capable of! Yay, do it! I seriously didn't get any, hardly anything from that. I thought he would have got more. Well, at least Anya's got six. Combat over. Processing data. Okay, what's in there? Ah. That looks like a nice chest. More stuff. Ow, 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 ow. That enemy looks strong. Hey. This'll make for a good boy. Perfect dodge. You show him what you're feeling capable of. Go. Stop it. Take the stun. <laughs> get him! Hmm. Still got to go. 
you. Aha, <laughs> get him. Keep the dodges going. Yeah, I know. Wait for the right time and strike. And I also gotta work on the CP. No! I didn't want that. Our chance. Thunder is winning. Okay, Thunder. No! I will send no message. No, why did you take out Van? Now we're talking. <sighs> Why? That's not good. Activating skill. Gotcha. You suck. Up to you. Mm. Certain arts will be more effective. I could really use power now. Ah, I didn't know one was paralyzed. Now or never. Damn it. Certain arts look to be most effective. Guess I could use some patching up. Certain art initiating skill. Yeah, yeah. Go! There we go! <clears throat> Not your open! Wait, did hmm. no. we're talking? One yes! She just fell! <sighs> That's not good. I hate you! You know that? Our chance! Thunder is ready! And paralyzed! Never, never. Which sucks! Initiating skill! Yeah. Has some extra! Hmm. Now we're talking. Come on! Yeah, on I am the shadow. Why you weren't gonna be paralyzed? You're next. Initiating skill. Yeah, yeah. Has some extra. That's not good. I am not happy. Fine, I'm gonna run back and heal. Because people wanted to die. Didn't you? That's the spot. Now you just gotta get back up again. Let's go. Smack him. Smack him good. Yeah. You How much did I get? I got 45. Onya's got one. Wrong guy to fight. Okay, so. I suggest physical attacks for now. Jesters! <laughs> I'm fine with those. Come on. Ben, get more CP. Really? You used to always prevail. get CP a lot quicker than this. Now, now what's the deal? This old palace is enormous. Even with all the decay, this place still has a certain grandeur to it. It's too grand a stage for this shitty ass game, that's for sure. <laughs> uh. Well, yeah. Really? Come on! Looks like we can rest here. 
That hits the spot. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going back and then re redoing everything. Keep keeping it going until I get. <coughs> hmm. Small corridors. So basically, all right. I know I did before I took it back, redid some stuff. I did do some weakening retrying. I don't think I've actually done that yet. Have I? Well, did not just go around because I did not up until I got there, which was kind of surprising. And I don't think I've done that since. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to be fighting you. Then I'm going to be fighting Melchiora. Then I'm going to be fighting Dante. Great, three battles. <sighs> Alright. Finally! You sure took your sweet ass time. Well, you said we had to start at three o'clock. <laughs> you got that right, pretty lady. Fight him, fight Melchior, then Dante. We couldn't really go at it in the labyrinth, but there's nothing stopping us from fighting to the death now. Uh, technically we could. <sighs> this place ain't got any of the resplendence it had when I came here in the bygone days. But this decrepit old ruin makes for a kick-ass backdrop for our fight. Don't you think? How old are you, Len? How did you get here then? Time warp, time travel? Oh, that. <laughs> and his artifacts keeping him alive, maybe.
that, okay, that would explain why you're so strong. Hm. That's how you met them. Yeah, that's obviously no cure, but who's the other guy? Do we actually know? So that's when you were brought into the garden. Oh, Olympia's not there. Hmm. Oh, so that's who that was. All right, enough talk. I can't wait a minute longer, so let's get this show on the road. We don't have to. I ain't got to play the rules enforcer anymore. I'm finally free to go all out. Hey, you weren't doing that in round three. Okay, technically you were. You, you showed up once. But technically you weren't an enforcer because you was a participant. Until Elena, Elena kicked your butt. Well... She didn't kick your butt, she just stole your cards and then ran off. Be on your guard, everyone. 
He's unleashing the artifact's full power. Hmm. Talk about disappointing. Huh? Come again? I had my expectations raised when you said you wanted me specifically to take part in this carnival. And those expectations were thoroughly dashed. Is this really the best entertainment you can offer? <laughs> oh, oh, she looks pissed. Judith. <laughs> Is the cat bringing her claws out before the battle starts? <laughs> I love a woman with spunk. You and I got some things in common. We're both thrill seekers. You find yours from acting and thieving. I get mine from chopping heads off bodies. Also, like you, I'm hard to please. Do you really think you can quench my ravenous thirst for a good fight? Yes, I do. I'm gonna put on one hell of a show just for you. You should feel lucky. I'm gonna give you my undivided attention because I won't let a potential fan live a cursed and meaningless existence. <laughs> <clears throat> yep. Consider this my calling card. From the Phantom Thief Grimcat to Arioke the Eradicator. <laughs> I'm gonna bring you to your knees and I'll steal your empty heart right before you. <laughs> Hell yeah. You tell him, sister. <laughs> what an adorable little proclamation. Aw. <laughs> You'll steal my heart? <laughs> That's the funniest shit I've heard all week. If you think you can fill the bottomless boy deep within me, then you're welcome to try. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> About time I showed what my fangs of Rahu are really capable of. Uh. Oh, so I can use the Grawl. Gotcha. Now or never. Huh. Yeah, you just happened there. I thought that we, we weren't going to be able to use Grim. Well, controller, but. Eh. Oh, yeah, they were close enough together, so. Going Did a follow-up attack. Ah. <laughs> ah. You're wide All right, so Let's do that. Mm. <laughs> What's the matter, huh? Do I really want to? <sighs> Going all in. Initiating skill. Ah. <laughs> no. Sucker. Oh, I'll hold you know off for now. Pressure him and move it. Just hope that we can get this going. Right, Struggle. go. Oh. Gotcha. Hmm. Now we're talking. Okay, I could use. We needn't go easy on them. Who says we are? Activating skill. <laughs> Sucker. Let's go. Activating skill. Yeah, let's just. <laughs> let's get let's started. Hehe. <laughs> All right, thanks. Let's get one. Don't have to. Oblivion <laughs> That is this craft. Ow. You're open. Archer. That hurts. Go to nothing. Keep going. Okay, he's stunned. But Anya, she needs. Uh. Struggle all you want. Activating skill. <laughs> no. Your turn, Judith. Okay, everyone work with Anya to help her 
Get a rest craft up. <sighs> What's the matter? Huh? It looks like when I get to her, I'm gonna have to heal. Or I could just heal him now. Please, uh. lead the way, princess. Well, he's already took damn much damage already. So. Just gotta do it. You saved me! You know what to do, Anya! Yeah, smack his butt! <laughs> Going all in! Activating skill! <laughs> gotcha! One, two, punch! <laughs> You're open! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> And you took out Grimcat! Boost level maximum. My exhaustion's catching up to me. Anya, you better get your S craft soon. Activating skill. No! <laughs> Not bad. So I took him down by half. You're on it. Ha 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 I guess I got a bit. Are you fucking kidding me? Shadow fire. Keep going. That was completely unfair. Shots for a shot boost. Honestly, completely and oddly un make it count. Completely and totally unfair. You're open. This is it. You won't get away with this. Yeah, you can stop right now. No one wants it. Time to close in. We needn't go easy on them. Could I? No, I can't. <laughs> I thought I could matter, swap huh? in a dead person and revive him. There's some right games up. that you can do like. Gotcha. <sighs> Sadly, this isn't one of them. Damage you was gonna do, I would have used the S Cross more. Ancient. I won't let this chance slip by. So basically, you're gonna make me weak and then we try. Struggle on Activating skill. Gotcha. Honestly, if you please. Why? Why? Why was the difficulty turned up so much? Or better yet, they're doing way, they're doing way too much damage than he's supposed to. Here I go. Engaging skill. He's doing so much damage than he's supposed to. Boost gauge upgraded. Little unfair. Me. All right, thanks, Let's get one. Ow, 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 ow. What? I misjudged you. The star falls in your court. Yeah, and you can't do this on your own. 
Here goes. No, I'll try. Activating skill. Oh, clearly, we all know it's Boost not going to work. Limit crushed. You'll be sorry for that. Activating skill. Blanket. Boost gauge limit it. crushed. I am the shadow. <laughs> Ow. And when he uses die, he gets to attack twice. In my <laughs> Which is also no unfair. <sighs> Great. As soon as I said about talking about the having to weaken and retry. It makes me go and do that. Fine. Back when I've done it. You know the drill. Boost gauge expanded. Ancient. <laughs> Our chance. Forget me. <laughs> I can't get enough. There, done. <laughs> you did it. Uh, still a pain now. <sighs> but thank you. Too easy. What? <laughs> Hi. Now. It's over. We did it! Yeah, basically to defeat him we just gotta destroy the armor that he's wearing, right? Exceptional work. You managed to break the artifact's core. Oh, that so she did. <laughs> that really was a hell of a show. <laughs> well, of course. I did promise as much, and I even recreated Golden Blood's climax just for you. Yeah, but you didn't do the director's cut version. Oh, basically, it's that same scene in both. Didn't see that coming at all. Um, what's going on? Uh, he's dying because that suit was keeping him alive and it's got no power anymore. Wait, is this? It's just like what happened to Ida. <laughs> you are one captivating gal, you know that? It's like you were commanding my attention in that fight. And in the movie I saw last night. <laughs> oh, so you took one night to go watch a film. <laughs> to go watch Wait, her. You went to the movies? Did you actually go to see Golden? Oh. <laughs> Victory is yours. You said you'd bring me to my niece, and you did just that. <laughs> the path to Dante's is open. He's all that remains now. Melchior will just be there as a witness. Hmm, I thought we were going to have to fight him too. Let's hope you could stand up to the boss's fear. <laughs> or else your legs might give out from under you. Hmm. So we just <gasps> disappeared and the armor just stays there. <laughs> if you really did go to see it, you could have at least shared your impressions with me. Oh. <laughs> Guess that's one mystery that'll stay forever unsolved. But at the very least, he seemed satisfied as he passed somehow. Yeah, maybe you managed to fill some of that empty heart of his right at the end. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. <sighs> one can only hope. All right, I'm done stealing the spotlight. I'll hand over the reins to the rest of you. 
Oh, but I'm not planning on slacking off now. I may be a temp employee, but I'm still gonna give this my all. You better. Naturally. I expect nothing less from all my employees, temp or perm. The next fight will be our last. Then this madness will finally be behind us. No, it won't. Get ready, everyone. We're gonna go in there and make Dante's pay for all his crimes. Very right. well. And anyway, isn't everyone a temp anyway? Not a perm. Could really use a nap. <sighs> Still. Whew. You got no point spot. in saying that, Van. Because everyone's a temp. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just check in. Every everything's fine. But as I said, I do not have Onyx Steel yet. Plus, as I said, there's two more things to do. End of Chapter 5 and finish on Chapter 6. Okay, so... Uh, Onyx and Judith has to get some TP. Uh, Here goes! Great! Like a nice chest. Okay. Onya's attacked the right fight. way, stupid woman. Charge attack available. You leave Onya's alone. She doesn't want to play with you, Jester. Honestly, right way, Onya's. Take our time here? There. Uh, no, we can't keep take our time. Ow! Oh, run away, run away. Ah, no! Stop it! Stop it, stupid jester! Okay. Come on, no! Why? Hey, why? Hey, leave on you alone! I did nothing to you! Should we take our time here? No! What did I say? I said leave on you alone! But no, so someone wants to be annoying. Don't they? Okay, uh, on your, uh, she's got a little more to go, and then. Oh, run! No, just go for the right time now. One more. All right. Last big giant. Okay, there. Taking center stage. Now go. No. Damn you, Judith. Honestly, damn you, Judith! Turn to nothing. I'll take you on. And I didn't want to do this right now. Certain arts will be more effective. Don't hold anything back. It'll be all right. Tim, want to use Blue that? Stage limit increased. But someone forced my hand. Didn't they? Did she go them? 
Have some more. Keep it going. Activating skill. <laughs> there we go. It's paralyzed oh, for two <laughs> turns. That's good. Now. A chance. This is gonna help. Have some more. And no, he's also blind, about... but I don't think the blind's gonna play a role. Is it? There we go. Now or never. Yes. Sucker. Your move. <laughs> All right, we're done. But still, it was a pain. Reaching my peak. On his leg. A pain. So, I do not use you, I just use everyone else and... Go with physical attacks here. Hopefully... I can just make everything work. You've got a charge attack, right? Oh, one strike! Hmm... Ah, still a long way to go! <laughs> Let's keep moving ahead. You got very left. Then the onions has turst off to get back up again. Damn it. Go with physical attacks here. I'm on it. You've got a charge attack ready. <laughs> okay, are we Yeah, we're done. Let's go. Here goes. Okay, that 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 should do it, right? Yeah. Here goes. Ah, come on! As soon as I switched in, <laughs> are you kidding me? I'll take you on. Are you really gonna make me do it Certain again? Certain arts will be more effective. Pull out all the stops. Honestly, why? It'll be a Boost gauge limit increase. I just want to get everybody up to 200 CP. Now or never. But for some reason, you all say no. We needn't go easy on them. Initiating skill. There we go. Stupid. Aren't ya? No! Make it count, Dan! <sighs> yeah, I know, he's paralyzed. You're open! <laughs> well, he's dead now. Restrained. Shadow fight! And dead. You picked the wrong guy to fight. Yeah, and you nailed it, Van. Are you kidding me? That is the end. Right up here. Is that the throne room? Guess it's about time we wrap this up. Right. Let's gun for it. Okay, I know it's... This looks like a stopping point. I know it's the final zone, basically. But still, <sighs> way too quick to get to this point. Still, way too quick. Alright, Dante. Let's, let's go. And I will weaken and retry if I have to. Should have already exploded.
Welcome to my humble abode. Uh, no. <laughs> and here I was thinking that Ariok would wipe the floor with you, but you did that to him. Oh, shut up. And we're gonna do the same to Dante's. You better stay out of our way, Melchior. Of course, of course. Just pretend like I'm invisible. Hmm. So, he's not gonna be a part of this, which then means it's gonna be in the final act, which I say is gonna be Onus is dead, right? Or oh, something else is gonna actually pop up. Because we still gotta deal with that, that thing yet. And whatever he's concocting. I will merely serve as an idle spectator. I wouldn't dream of spoiling the boss's big moment. Though I do wish I could join in on the fun. I'd love to grab the neck of that wretched vermin who called that airship and give a nice long squeeze. Uh, well, the pers well, the person who did that is over there. It's her. It's Anya's, and I have... Still wondering how. <sighs> <laughs> Worry not, Melchior. The passengers will have the distinct honor of witnessing their homes, families, and friends explode before their very eyes. Don't surprise it hasn't happened yet. All they can do is watch helplessly from above as their former lives go up in flames. I can hardly imagine a more perfect gift of fear. <laughs> you bastard! Does your wickedness know no bounds? We didn't come here to chat the night away, asshole. We came here to beat the shit out of you. Yeah. Are you just gonna sit on that dumbass throne and hurl cheap taunt after cheap taunt? No, no. We will hold our battle momentarily. And after the victor is determined, the final judgment will be passed. There's the nuclear weapon. So that's what it looks like. It is still incomplete, so there is no need to fear. Too much. It cannot be detonated. Well, at least, not without this key. That's the sword we saw in Dingo's video. Just the sight of it is sending chills down my spine. Not surprising. It is a deadly blade. A totally and demonic in nature. Its existence was a closely guarded secret of the royal family of Calvert. So it's holy and demonic? After the kingdom fell, the church attempted to recover it. But no trace of it was ever found. So how in the goddess's name did you come into possession of a Peron, the sword of divine darkness? So that is what it's called. Wait, why are we only hearing about this now? Because he never opened his big fat mouth. <laughs> this sword has become something of a legend. I understand why you were shocked to see this in my hands. Allow me to enlighten you. This very blade was passed down to me. I had the right of its inheritance. I was born by the name of Gerard Eldarion. I am a descendant of the royalty that once ruled Calvert. Hmm. Therefore, both it and the throne are rightfully mine. So you then think it's in your right to explode it? You must be curious as to how a descendant of the royal family still lives and stands before you. Uh, the family go into hiding when everyone's trying to kill them. Kind of obvious. That is because I was taken into the care of a cult that is now extinct. Uh. 
<laughs> Call of Diablo? Was it? GG cult. Yeah. They were one of the groups that went on to become the Gardens after spreading chaos across the Republic. Oh boy! The Oathbreaker must have spilled the tea on that. Yes, the Gardens can trace its roots back to the cult. As well as the Order of the Moonlight Horse, which he and I once belonged to. Then he ran off to the Society with the Golden Butterfly and another ex-member, leaving seven-year-old me in the dust all the while. But he did tell me I could make my very own Garden of Killers, and oh, did I very much enjoy doing so. So, basically, we have the, the old breaker for how you basically were raised, right? <laughs> As a result of my efforts, I met the Emperor, herded the remnants of the cult, became acquainted with Arioch and Olympia, and most important of all, found our wonderful boss shortly after he assumed control of Almada. I met a descendant of Calvardian royalty, and a former high priest of the DG cult. How could I perceive it as anything but a fortuitous twist of fate? So what exactly are you all trying to accomplish here? Nothing good. Are you attempting to restore the Republic's monarchy? Or are you following in the footsteps of the cult? Neither. Why would he have a, a nuke if... If he was trying to do evil one of them? <laughs> Neither. See, even I knew that. I care nothing for the country's revolution 100 years ago. Nor do I care about the increasing number of immigrants welcomed through its doors. And I will not leech off the teachings of the cult like a parasite, as my parents once did. I'm afraid those things bring me no fulfillment whatsoever. I am not the kind of man who obsesses over past glories, nor do I desire to rebel against the goddess. Then what the hell do you want to do then? Everything that drives a human being to action. Friendship, work, envy, love. All of it holds no meaning. Just an endless source of frivolity and tedium. So I sought a diversion. A reprieve from this vapid world. And I found just the answer I was looking for. The ultimate source of reprieve. Fear. <laughs> you cannot deny that our neighbors in the Erebonian Empire prospered greatly as a result of conflict. Well... As like I said, it is a military nation, technically, in a way. So, obviously. And much like conflict, fear is a fundamental component of human nature. Life, death, order, and chaos can only exist because of fear. It is at the heart of everything, the foundation upon which all else exists. Once I learned that, I began my lifelong pursuit to seek out fear in its purest form and instill it in everyone. Is that it? You're one sick piece of shit, you know that? True. So that's why you were drawn to the concept of nuclear weapons. And you got Professor Callahan wrapped up in your web of lies. Indeed. And he created a wondrous work of art. But, alas, it just isn't good enough on its own. As a weapon, it's too unstable, and it won't leave a permanent mark on the world. Even if we were to take the lives of everyone in this city. 
People will be dismayed for a time, but like with the Salt Pale and Retributive Tower incidents, they will forget and move on. And that is what led me to the idea of this carnival. Yeah, but after this, people are going to move on. Forget and move on. It is the birthplace for the ultimate fear. One that will fester inside every human being for the rest of their lives. Now, I grow weary of idle chatter. Shall we begin our duel to the death? Sounds good to me. You are so going down! Yeah! This'll be tough, but we can't afford to lose. We also can't afford to be reckless. I'm almost certain he is up to something. True, but we've still got to pull out all the stops against him, or we're done for. Yeah, there's still one more round left. Well, chapter. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I'm going full throttle from the get-go. And it's not going to be something to just wrap everything up nicely. Like yeah. an epilogue. <laughs> Mayor to the rescue! Okay, Bam. Hope you're ready to... Uh... Uh, yeah. Ready to go. Um, um, okay. Shark's well. The Grendel's all yours. What was that about, Mayor? <laughs> Something was up there. I don't like this. <laughs> ah, there it is. I was wondering if you would pull the same trick again. So that must be your nightmare, then. What? What just... Uh, ah! Mare! What the hell? Something's interfering with her AI. Mare Bear, snap out of it! No! This is all wrong! She vanished. The hell did you do to her? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> you still have your restraints, do you not? You should focus less on her and more on the battle at hand. I wonder how this will play out. Will I fall prey to your nightmare? Or will you be consumed by my fear? <sighs> But what happened to Mare? Here goes! I, I don't understand. Alright. Let's see just what you can do. Oblivion Fist. <laughs> Alright. So. We needn't go easy on them. Let's uh, start with this. Initiating skill. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> on your knees. Hmm. Now we're talking. Wait, are you attacking every single time? Doing a follow up attack. Keep it up. That can't be good. Activating skill. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> You're up, Grozani. No, no, he's not. Shadowbind. <laughs> right. It's time for the nightmare to kick some butt. <sighs> so much for expectations. Mm. Okay, there's Oblivion Fist. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna plow right through him. <laughs> uh, which is not good. We needn't go easy on them. But keep it up. It's working. 
Oh, can just reach. He's calling me pathetic. Uh. <sighs> so much for expectations. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Don't hold anything back. No. Fine, have it your Take way. Activating skills. <laughs> have some more. And go! Drive you! Rebel be down! You're screwed now! Ride! Cower before me! No! That's his S craft. Ooh. No me answer. A pandemonium ruler. Pathetic. Talk out Judith already. I'm your knees. I guess I got a bit sloppy. For God's sakes, let me have a turn! I'll take you on! <sighs> so much for expectations. You suck, you know that? <sighs> Activating still. <laughs> now that's more like But we can still. Uh, triumph. Can't we? <sighs> so much for expectations. Alright, so that. I that. need to heal up soon. And then. <laughs> I've seen better. Really? How have you seen better? Pierce! Have a Now! Hey, let me have a turn! Thank you. Seriously, how? Seriously, how much so were you much doing? For expectations. Activating skill. <laughs> okay, time to bring everyone back. I've got this. Boost gauge limit increased. And now, let's do the usual. You needn't go easy on them. That one, that one. God damn it! You only had two. Yeah, I didn't see it. Ow! Right, cower before me. No, you cower before me. I hate that move. Pathetic. And again, you take out Judith. Talking. Why? Why do you hate Judith so much? What? Can't take the heat. 
You didn't even touch on yes. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Catching up to me. All right. <laughs> You're up, Kurogane. <laughs> you can't hide. Okay, just hope at the end of this, I can win. No fear. Right. So let's ah, go for so much for expectations. That, that, and that. If you could. Who uh, bleeds all you over? Here goes. Take this. No, no one here. I guess I got a bit. I must Ow. act carefully. Twelve. There we go. Now we're talking. Fear me! Neil! We will not fear you! You fear me! A chance! Boost level, maximum strength. I'm uh I'm worried. <sighs> so much for expectations. I'm de I'm de I'm definitely worried. Hmm. Can't do anything. Activating skill. <laughs> okay, do not kill. <laughs> Ha! Huh. You missed! Right? My exhaustion's catching up to me. Mm. Ah, so much for expectations. Yeah, Sa same again. <laughs> okay, now bring out the big numbers! Now that's more like Okay, so I got a stun. That's good. You're a fiendish one. I'm gonna have to heal. Man needs it. There. Try to get up. Even though maybe I should have just done a full <laughs> because <laughs> this nightmare has got a hell of a load of health. My exhaustion's catching up to me. But if you could. just keep going to the same free. <laughs> Here goes. And hopefully, la, it just works. Cower before me. Neil, it will not. You cower before me, dirtbag. Okay, Fan can use that. Wait. You're a fiendish one. Yeah, he's, he's gonna do love for the finale. Activating skill. Okay, <laughs> go, Fan. <laughs> Take him out. <laughs> Overkill. <Got> you. <laughs> go. <laughs> Get him. You're screwed now. Is that all? I did it! I can do even better! It's either that or he's gonna have a second... Multiple phases. It can't be over this quick, can it? Right? <laughs> Is that all your precious nightmare can do?
How pathetic. Surveillance system, adjust parameters. Set the game's end time to exactly three minutes from now. Once the timer hits zero, throw a pair on an eye against the bomb. That's changing the rules. Oh no! That's cheating. Not good. Didn't see that coming. Uh, him being the dirtbag. Yeah, I saw that coming. <laughs> you dare mock me? I do not need the nightmare to take you out. <laughs> ah. <Gah. Huh. laughs> oh. <laughs> I was right all along. Huh? I found it. Seems my work here is now done. What? What the hell was that? I'm a... Uh... Van! Is that something in Van or something? Are you alright? Or what? I'll see to you right away. <sighs> Don't worry. My injuries aren't that bad. Nothing like what he has. Didn't really have much of a choice at the end there. Of course you didn't! That was self-defense, pure and simple. Son of a bitch practically held a gun to our heads. Yeah, if you didn't do that, he would have killed us and all of the people in Arasion. The final boss, Dante's, has been defeated. Zone clear. Congratulations, Team Arkride Solutions. You have won the game. <sighs> I'm getting glad that that didn't explode it. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll take more than a little fall to detonate it. So it's finally over, right? No, not yet. I believe so. The game at least is fit. That's right. This marks the end of the greatest party in history. Ah, oh, even in death, you shine so beautifully, boss. You died with the grace of an angel. But you were also as selfish as a devil till your dying breath. How could you walk the road to hell by yourself and leave me to wallow in misery? Well, have you got a knife? Can't you just slit your own throat? Take your own life? Though I suppose that's part of why I fell for you in the first place. Wait, 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 wait. He's gay. <laughs> You're free to join him any time, bud. The jig is up, Melchior. We beat your stupid game, and your organization is toast. Why don't you surrender and come quietly? Uh. That sword only answers to those it deems worthy. You will not be able to use it to detonate the bomb. Of course. That was never in the cards. But I figure I can whip up a nice little fireworks show to commemorate the life of my dear boss. His own bombs. <gasps> Explosive artifacts. <laughs> I scattered them all throughout the palace just in case it all shook out like this. If you wish to make it out alive, you better get moving. I hope to see you alive and well at our next meeting. Adieu! Uh, Damn it! We've got to book it! Let's go! We gotta grab the Genesis and the bomb! Right! 
You can leave that to me. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. It's bucket. Uh, it's Ariok's armor. What? <laughs> what? But there isn't anyone inside. The fangs of Rahu has a mind of its own. It craves fresh sacrifices, and it will get what it desires, master or no master. <laughs> what? You're pulling my leg, right? So then, what does that mean? What does it want? The sacrifice that you said? It's not going to let us pass, is it? Duh. We really don't got time for this shit right now. Then we'll deal with it for you. Uh. Ah. Oh! Impeccable timing, you two. We came as soon as we heard the game was over. Collecting artifacts is kind of our thing. So, you can leave this to us. Make sure you get out of the place alive. Well, wait! But this place is about to collapse! Don't worry. We have an escape route already laid out. You have our thanks. But don't dawdle in this place for long. Not another step! Oh, it's payback time, Fangs of Rahu. Let's do this, Leon. Right. Searing seal of mine, shining from the abyss. Glacial seal of mine, shining from the abyss. <laughs> okay, so. God damn it. That's where we came in from. How do we get out now? Over there! There's fire here, too! Ugh, where's the convenient exit when you need it? <laughs> this way'll do. It leads to the watchtower on the castle walls. All right, you guys. Get ready to jump! Jump? Don't walk back! <laughs> what? You're insane! Oh no! <laughs> okay, what did they all land on? Right? It's an action movie! <laughs> ah! The water underneath. <laughs> I like that final bit. It's an action movie! <sighs> We're alive, aren't we? Yes. I... I think so. Why in the hell did you think that was a good idea? You some kind of maniac. Uh, it was the only idea that we had, and could you think of anything better? Maniac or not, we're alive, so yeah, I think it was a solid plan. My attempt to soften our landing with shards proved successful. Even though it was landing in the, in the water, yeah, I can understand. I wish you remembered that some of us aren't the athletic type. That was awesome! It felt like we were acting out the climax of a movie or something. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, drilling and the drilling junkie. <laughs> as long as everyone is alive and well, I won't complain.
Yeah, you on the you understood what it's I meant. It's finally over. No, we have set. Wait. Oh, what? Yeah, we've closed the books on this case. How many of them were there again? I'm sure she said seven at the beginning. Then somebody went to eight, and he says over with six. Though we still have plenty of work ahead of us, and the lives Almada stole will never be returned. But I think we've paid back the debt we owed those people, and then some. For now, that's good enough for me. I was finally able to avenge my bros. Yeah, I hope Ida's smiling from up above. Maybe the people of Basel could rest easy now. Yeah, I hope. Hi. Is everyone okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, question. Are you reinstated with the braces? Or are you just sticking with the hand in the resignation? <laughs> it looks like they're all in one piece at least. Ren, Elaine, Marielle. Here comes the welcome wagon. <laughs> Wait, what happened to Shizuna and Kurogane? They were just here a moment ago. Oh, they're basically ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> Disappeared the moment they finished their job. That's Shinobi for you. It's been a while since I had that much fun. So, again, how would this have played out? Okay, with Heiyue, it would probably end up being the same way. But, if I teamed up with the Braces, how would this all pan out? And if we take the timetable of our main contract into account, I'd say this wild ride's barely gotten started. Main contract? Come on, tell us who, who you're working for! Indeed. Everything hinges on the President's future orders. We have disposed of the boat and can retreat at any time. Okay then, let's skedaddle. See you around, Spriggan. He didn't do half bad for a dropout. Hey! I'm afraid I'll require a little more proof before I accept that he is worthy of our time and trust. Are you talking about me as being the dropout? Dropout what? Anyway, what should we do from here? We were unable to recover those artifacts. Oh, don't remind me. Guess I ought to hit up the CID's chief and see what our next move is. Wait, 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 why are you working with the C CID? I, d I didn't think the church does work with the CID. I thought they're, they're, it's their own independent thing. Like braces. I suppose we can call this a job well done. Indeed. We met all of the objectives that were issued to us by the President. However, our main AI's predicted danger level remains the same. It should have changed by now, but it's still showing as yellow. We must remain vigilant as we wait for the grand reveal next month. Most of our primary objectives have been accomplished. However, I regret to inform you that the Overseer of the Thorns managed to escape. I must also apologize about the matter related to the Dark Blue Core. 
We have already begun pursuit of the former target, and we will expand our search radius for the latter. Well, what? What? Everything will be taken care of, Captain. Again, the questions keep piling up. But no answers. And that's the end of chapter five. And truly well done. Then I'll update your rank. Double A. I'll gladly take that. Yeah, I will. Hmm. So we're one more rank off and then we'll complete everything. Well, I'm I'm fifteen points off. So Yeah. <laughs> Can't complain with that. Another S. One more S and then I've got an S on everything. Even though basically you didn't actually see me get the S's on the first part, but as I said, it was when I redid it. I'm honored. Of course you were gonna get that. Yeah, I was relying on your healing more than anything. If I don't, then you wouldn't get it. But we have one more chapter left. And I, I don't want it to be just a happy conclusion to everything that's been that's happened and then we kind of like ride off into the sunset or basically it sets the groundwork for the second game i don't want that i want something big to happen or at least set the groundwork for the next game but instead of having it all peacefully and going nicely have a big big battle which leads us into it because something big is bound to happen and what was that thing that Dante found at the very end and was that inside van that little dark core whatever it whatever it was and was that something in van which is going to bring chaos to the world and the Alamong's basically hunting van down because of rumors or something they heard about that I have no idea but, as I always say, time will tell. So, chapter 5 is now done. I am happy. I am sorted. And just gotta wait until tomorrow when we can actually play the final part. So, yeah. And I... Hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was fun. And yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye.